Let's talk a little bit about this roster because I think that is really one of the key stories of anywhere in college hockey this year. You've alluded to the fact that we had the three players join the Olympic program. Over the course of this year, though, we've had five guys who have gone down with injuries, and you got to the point where every available body was playing for the Gophers during that stretch when yep. the Olympics were going on. I think that's just an incredible effort to not only show the depth, but the resiliency to react under adversity. You have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the dream. You got to touch. You have to see it when nobody else sees it. You have to feel it when it's not tangible. You have to believe it when you cannot see it. You got to be possessed with the dream. The Five dream. seconds left. Yeah. It's a slow countdown. Where it says, folks, as the puck is back in the Badger zone. That's it. The Golden Gophers are the Big Ten playoff champions. As I walk through the valley with my ladder and flex, when they all thought we was finished, they was laughing at that. So I went and bought me a dawn and flipped their head to the back. New drag, new whips on the way down. Gophers back on the rush across the line. Here's a chance. Bentley Shane Dillard. like that, Minnesota has their first lead of the night. This play is not dead yet. Lacombe shoots, he scores! Jackson Lacombe! How about the defenseman? And Minnesota has their first lead of the night, 5-4. 240 to go. What was most impressive, but what I really enjoyed this weekend was seeing the huge crowds sold out Saturday night, great boisterous crowds, student sections filling up five sections at one end of the building. It was fun to see the building like this. It's been a long time since, since I've seen it like this.